beloved. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. So this car chronicle, I'm going to call the Awakening Part 1 because I'm going to have to do another one and another one. Trust me. I got that much time right now. So, at um, my small group, a question was posed. A very great question. A question I had never thought of or even just, I just never thought of it. I thought about it, you know. Um, it was asked, um, do I find it easier to talk to people I know or strangers about Jesus? And immediately my answer was, I don't find it strange to, you know, hard to talk to anyone about Jesus. And it was true. You know, if you ever met me or you know me or you ever spoke to me, then you know that my transformation, my full transformation began two, what, three years ago. And I don't have a problem talking about Jesus. If you talk to me, you got to know that at some point before the conversation, you know, I'm talking about Jesus. I am because what's in you comes out of you. But God had to download something to me. Here come the download. Get ready for it. God said, my word says that when a person comes to you with a question, I always be prepared to have, give them an answer about your faith, about your belief. And that's 1 Peter 3.15, I think. And I was like, oh, because I wanted to know why am I so bold about my faith? But the thing is, I was bold about my sin when I was in the world. Then why not be bold about your faith when you're in the world? And that's why a lot of people get it twisted. They think that when God calls you, now you have to minimize some of your characteristics when God is really trying to get you to take those characteristics and place them in the world, place them in Him. So if you was going hard for the world, go hard for God. And that's how we should be. We should be going hard for God. Everybody else go hard for everything they believe in. Except the church. We got to minimize our belief. Minimize our faith. Minimize our love for Christ. Minimize what Christ has done in our life. No sir. No ma'am. God saved me. God renewed my mind. God gives me his peace. God healed me. Let me tell you something. God is great. God, ugh, the look, man, I love God so much. I'm telling you, I'm going to talk about it anywhere, anytime. And whoever has a problem with that, that's a you problem. That's not a me problem. So, you tell whoever's hating on you when you're in your cubicle doing your work and you listening to your gospel, and they have a problem. She always listen to that music. She, uh huh, sure, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because this music is helping me from snapping on you. This music is helping me from going upside your head and telling you what time it is. This music keeps me, sustains me, 